Well, this is what I'm going to be making today, this beautiful baba ganesh with pita bread. And I'm making this as part of a collaboration today. If you click on my description box for this recipe, you'll see a list of the other 12 collaborators who will each be making a Lebanese dish. So have a good look at some of those. In the meantime, let's get on with the baba ganoush. Right, now we're going to make our baba ganoush. We're going to start with our eggplant. Just stab them. So they don't blow up. <laughs> and then pop them into a lined baking tin. And put them in the oven for about 40 minutes at 200 degrees. Right there, fresh out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool. And then I'm going to cut them in half and scrape them out. Right, firstly, let's cut these in half. There we go. Still a bit hot inside. So, <laughs> might leave them for a little bit longer while they cool off because I don't want to burn myself. Right, these have cooled down a bit now. So I'm just going to scrape them out and put them straight into my processor here until I've got them all scooped out. Now these are quite moist, so I'm going to pass them through a sieve first. Otherwise, my resulting baba ganoush is going to be too wet. Right, that's all been squished now to get all the moisture out into the processor. And then we'll start adding the rest of our ingredients. Right, three teaspoons of minced garlic. Now the juice of two limes, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, 100 grams or so of hummus, a small grind of pink salt. Now we're going to process that. Let's have a wee taste. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's transfer that into a bowl. A little bit of paprika. And a little bit of olive oil. And some little bit of chopped parsley. And there we have it. Let's see how our pita bread is warming up and we'll have a taste. Right, let's get into it. Mm. Oh wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Well, now that we've made our baba ganoush, it's time to press on and uh, make our own pita bread to go with it. So I'll just hand you over to myself <laughs> and we'll make the pita bread. Right, now that we've made our baba ganoush, let's have a go at making our own pita bread. Right, so firstly we'll start with 250 mils of warm water. We're going to pop teaspoon of sugar in there and seven grams which is like a heaped spoon of yeast. We're going to mix that together and as soon as it starts to bubble on the surface 
and we know that our yeast is good we can pour that into our bread maker as you can see mine's foaming at the top I'm going to put that into the bread maker I'll add three cups of flour a pinch of salt and one and a half tablespoons of olive oil and then I'll set my bread maker to dough and it'll do its thing if you've got a stand mixer then knead for 10 to 12 minutes using the dough hook either way it should come out looking like this right so if we can actually I'll just tip that out good that's come with it and the only thing we're going to do with this is let it rise a bit more so we'll put it into a bowl with a little bit of oil that there replace with the bowl <laughs> and a little bit of oil there you go just a tiny bit <coughs> Put that in there and then we're going to cover it and leave it for an hour <laughs> wow that really <laughs> that really has doubled in size hasn't it let's get it out of that bowl and onto our board shall we there we are that's uh, that's it out what we're going to do fold it in and then we're gonna push all the air out of it once we've got the air out we can cut it into eight pieces right let's get over to our cutting board over here right let's cut this into so I'll cut it in half I'm cutting it into eight pieces so half then half again then half again and then we'll get our trusty rolling pin out and we'll get these into the right shape so with these you want to they say pull down from the center and fold underneath Put them there. I've lightly floured this board. Right, this can become a bit tedious, so I'll do the rest of them and then I'll come back. Eh? And there we are. There we have our eight balls. I'm going to cover those with some cling wrap and leave them for 30 minutes. Right, firstly, put a pan on for a sort of medium, medium high heat. While that pan's warming up, we're going to roll out these piss bread. So. You want them about a quarter of an inch thick, about ooh, 17 centimetres. Luckily we're doing eight of these, so you can afford to get a couple wrong. That's about the right size. That pan's not quite up to heat yet, so we'll come back when it is. Now what we're looking to happen here is for this to puff up. Here we are. Hopefully this will puff a bit further. While it's puffing, I need to roll out the next one. I think this is going to be a bit like pancakes, where <laughs> your second one um, is always uh, the best, or third. <laughs> Right, perfect. Right, I'll let these cool down 
and uh, then we'll get them open. And there we go, I've cut one of these open just to show you inside. These are quite thin. You can fill these full of um, all sorts of salad vegetables with a nice dressing or you can marinate some chicken and add some vegetables, summer vegetables as well as a dressing. Up to you. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you on my next recipe.